Time for part 3 of our update instructions and this time we do SKSE the Skyrim script extender. Google SKSE, go to the script extender page and here we have a couple of versions built 173 that's for the old Skyrim 32-bit, current SE special edition build 2.0.8 for game runtime version 1550, so that's the current Skyrim version, click here to get the archive. Once the file downloaded, it will be called SKSE 640008. The 8 is the new version, and I want to open it with my program for zip archives. So I double click, it opens in 7-zip that I have configured, it contains this folder inside, I go inside that folder and first of all there are 5 files here, the DLL, the EXE and all those files, these 5 pieces, they will go into my main game directory and they will replace the files that I have there currently. So let's open up common Skyrim special edition in Steam Apps common this is the main game directory and scroll down to SKSE as you can see here's the previous version for game runtime 1539 that's that was the previous version of Skyrim special edition so I highlight the equivalent five files here to this to these ones and I delete them from my main game directory after that I go back to my zip file and I drag the new files into the main game directory. Next we have the data folder here. I will now navigate to the place where I keep all my Skyrim tools. I will create a new folder. Call it SKSC data 208 go inside, now go into data here and drag the scripts to this folder. Now I will right click on scripts, 7-zip add to archive and I will call it skse data 208. And now this is a file I can install with mod organizer. I will move these files to the directory that I have configured in my mod organizer to be the one showing the downloads. I have it on a separate drive and so I will copy that file with Ctrl C then I will navigate to the place where I have my Skyrim special edition installers and this directory it's K mod installers MO Skyrim SE it is in fact configured in mod organizer, in settings, paths, you see it's the same directory, to be shown in the program as downloads. So when I, I will now minimize mod organizer and I will paste in the file here, the skse data 208, when I now open mod organizer go to downloads I have them sorted by file time so this is the newest one as you can see it's already visible here and I can install it by double clicking into my game before I do that I will remove the previous versions data mod right click remove mod and now I want to double click that I will name it skse data 208 I will click on manual to see that the structure is correct and I see that mod organizer is telling me that it looks good so I can click OK. The mod was now installed on the bottom. I will drag it upwards and place it at the very beginning. Now I will activate it and now it will be recognized uh, by the game. To sum up, there were two things we did to update Skyrim Script Extender. The first one was to change the files that you have in your main game directory, the old ones with these five. The second one was to extract data 
content somewhere, make a new archive of that, copy it over to the place that you defined as downloads and install it straight away with Mod Organizer 2. Thank you for watching and in the next video we will update Vrybash.